We are here at the Orange Coast College. Behind me, this is the stage where Governor Newsom and Congresswoman Katie Porter are going to address this crowd within the next few minutes. Congresswoman Porter in one of the tightest congressional races in the country. The governor busy all around Southern California. It's your decisions that will determine the fate and future of this part of our state. California Governor Gavin Newsom is so far ahead in his own re-election race, he's using the final days of the midterms to campaign for Democrats in tight House races. What's the big difference for the average voter with a Democratic Congress versus a Republican Congress? I mean, it's difference between daylight and darkness. In Santa Clarita, Newsom stumps for Christy Smith, who's running once again against Republican Congressman Mike Garcia. In 2020, Garcia won by only 333 votes. When our canvassers are out knocking and they can say, did you know that in 2020 this was decided by 333 votes? It does prove the point that every vote matters. But guess what? I'm 18 now. On hand to support Smith is 18-year-old Mia Trada, who became a gun control advocate after she was shot at Saugus High School. She survived. Her best friend did not. What's your message to other people your age? We know what it's like to be taught to hide under desks. This is your opportunity to do something about it. This is your opportunity to make your voice heard. Congressman Garcia denied our interview request. Garcia campaign sent us this statement, quote, Governor Newsom goes out of his way on a daily basis to crush taxpayers and small businesses. It's not surprising he's willing to go to Santa Clarita to support Smith, a lifelong bureaucrat who has raised our taxes, supports defunding the police, and crushed small businesses with AB5. Earlier, all of the state's top elected Democrats coming together in Long Beach to give individual speeches and rally for California's Prop 1, which would enshrine the right to an abortion in California's Constitution. For the first time in history, we lost a constitutional right. Now are in the front lines of the rights battles. So a live look again at this Katie Porter event in Costa Mesa, expected to get underway in the next few minutes. Uh, we reached out to her Republican opponent, Scott Baugh, offered him equal time. They declined that request. Uh, we should be getting a statement from them tonight on the Fox 11 News at 10. We'll also show you what happened here. For now, reporting live from Orange County, I'm Alex Michelson. Susan, Christina, back to you.